for what it's worth. Darling, you're doing your best, and that's all we can ask for. Take today, for example. You wanted to spend the day with her, right? Take her to a nice restaurant? You were looking forward to it. Hmm. Welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies. And last time, Momsy mentioned that Valentine's Day is coming right up, and now we're going to plan for the surprise date for Sayori. And also, Momsy came home for a surprise to us, and uh, we'll definitely make the most of it before she comes back to her work. So, you guys know the drill, and what time is it? It's Doki Doki time. I wake up the next morning to the sound of activity coming from downstairs. I almost forgot that mom is an early riser. That's something I definitely didn't inherit from her. I yawn and stretch, checking the time. Huh, 9 a.m. Looks like it isn't so early after all. Morning, mom. You're up early. <laughs> Very funny. I've been up before noon loads of times, actually. Looks like you really have changed while I've been gone, eh? Rolling my eyes at her little jab, I notice the abundance of food on the kitchen table. So, it's Valentine's Day today. What have you got planned with Sayori? Valentine's today? What? Wow, okay, um... Huh. I guess time really does fly fast. Okay, we'll s we'll see today's episode. Okay, we'll see about that in this one, I guess. Taking a seat, I opt for the jam toast. Eh, I don't know. Monica mentioned this fancy restaurant in town, so I thought I'd take Sayori there. Which one? Uh, Amber Beehive, I think it's called. Amber Beehive. Amber Beehive. Hmm. She said it's jazzy, leans on a formal side too. Ah, yes, I know it now. Monica has good taste. Sayori will love it. Good, good. We could do with a nice day after everything that's happened so far. Oh? Everything okay? We can talk about it when I get back, if that's okay. Kinda wanna focus on the positives today. Of course, today will be a great day, don't you worry. He smiles encouragingly at me. I hope so. Anyway, uh, what are you going to do today? Well, it's been such a long time since I've been home that I've almost forgotten what free time feels like. This country and its worth eth ethic. Anyway, I figured I could start with some housekeeping. You've let this place get a little dusty and messy, young man. Sorry, it's never been my strong suit. There's also some business, business things I have to sort out, but thankfully I can do those on my laptop. Even when you're at home, you really can't catch a break, can you? She smiles ruefully. Adult life, Finn. Now, haven't you got a certain someone to see? I'm on it. <laughs> of course, Princess Sayori. After freshening up and shooting Sayori a text, I make my way over to her house. Hey, Sayori. She's on the bed, sitting up. There's a pen and paper in her hands, and looks like she's writing a poem. Hi, Finn. Uh, what do you want to do today, then? Uh, about that. Um, this must be really disappointing to hear, so I'm sorry. What is it? I'm not really in the mood to hang out today. There's just some things that I need to think about and I don't want to be distracted. It's nothing personal. I try my best to fight off the sinking feeling of disappointment. Nah, it's cool. Don't worry about it, okay? Just give me a shout if you want to talk, alright? You know where I am. I know it's Valentine's today, so it's really selfish of me, but... It's fine, really. Not selfish at all. I'd much rather you did what you wanted to do instead of you feeling like you have to come out or anything. We can always hang out another day. Thank you, Finn. You've always been really understanding. It's the least I can do. Anyway, I'll uh, leave you to it. Yeah, uh, I guess I could give her a time off for, uh, for, for once. 
Well, uh, that changes things a bit. I'm a little downhearted. I know Sayori loves romance, and today would have been the perfect day to show her how much she means to me. Granted, the decision has been made. At least I can talk it over with Mom. Mom sitting at the kitchen table, beavering away on her laptop. She looks surprised. You're back early? I slide into the chair opposite her. Yeah, Sayori doesn't really feel like hanging out today. Said there's some stuff she needs to think about, so I left her to it. I bury my face in my hands. When mom speaks, her tone is gentle. It's not easy, is it? It really isn't. I know you warned me about it and I thought I was prepared, but I never really know what to do. I like to think that I'm making a positive difference, but I don't know anymore. What makes you doubt that? Well, she kind of snapped at me once when I told her I knew how she felt. Said that I couldn't possibly know what depression feels like and that my words are just empty. But she also sa says that it's helpful having me around and that me just being able to listen does make a difference. So I don't really know. For what it's worth, darling, you're doing your best and that's all we can ask for. Take today for example, you wanted to spend the day with her, right? Take her to a nice restaurant? You were looking forward to it. Hmm. But even though she wasn't up for it, you didn't get angry at her or hold it against her. You were understanding and let her do what she wanted to do. That's precisely the kind of patience and understanding I was talking about back in se in <laughs> not September, in November. She said it to you herself. She values having you around, and whether you realize it or not, you have made life that much better for her. Nah, I made it worse in some ways. How so? Oh, I forgot to tell you. You know Yuri, right? We went Christmas shopping with each other in, in December and I saw her in a park once after Sayori and I had a fallout. We've grown a little closer and Yuri confided that she's really lonely. I agreed to spend more time with her and totally didn't factor in how Sayori would feel about it. Uh, jealousy, I assume. Yeah, I'm an idiot. How did I not realize that would happen? Well, jealousy happens really because again, me and Yuri are just friends and nothing else. I was so inconsiderate. Not considerate at all, huh, sweetie. Your heart's always in the right place. You just wanted to help a friend in need, and there's nothing wrong with that. Exactly! I'm always happy to, uh, to help a friend in need. Like, really. But now I'm in this really weird situation. I really want to spend time with Yuri because I hate the thought of her being lonely and I don't want to make Sayori feel any worse. Sayori didn't tell me that I couldn't hang out with Yuri or anything. She's not like that at all. I sigh. And I can't tell Yuri about why I can't hang out with her because I don't want her to find out about Sayori's depression. Girls. Mom laughs softly. She puts a reassuring hand on my shoulder. Well, let's try looking at this from another angle. She's agreed to try therapy, right? How, how's that going? When I was there, it was going well, I guess. Her therapist is really nice, never insensitive with his questioning, and he's working well with him. She's on antidepressants now, and she started going to therapy sessions alone. That's excellent you, sweetie. That's a really big step to make, so the fact she made it is really promising. From my own experience, that independence is really important. You can't always be there for your partner, and at the end of the day, they're the one who has to deal with their depression. When I was dating Shinji, we found that his depression was easier to manage that he had attended by a few sessions by his- Shinji! Shinji! Huh. Wait, Shinji is my father? What? What? Ah, uh, it's a good thing he didn't tell me I should get in the freaking robot. He said that I. He said that she has a really good therapist. So have faith, darling. It's a long, slow process, but it sounds like she's made good progress already. 
Sheesh, Mom, you sound like a psychologist yourself. <laughs> well, I did take psychology modules while I was at the university, you know. My experience with depression really opened my eyes to mental health. Funny you mention that because I was considering going into psychology at university. Sakurai was asking me about my future plans. Well, if that's what you're interested in and your grades are good enough, I encourage you to, Finn. Especially in a country like this one, which has some unhelpful attitudes when it comes to mental health. Yeah, it seems like a good choice, right? I've still got time, but I figured it'd be helpful to, st to start thinking about my school, my post-school plans now. She nods approvingly. Yes, that's definitely the smart thing to do. What about the other girls? After I fill her in, she fits back, looking thoughtful. I can really see where I got my reflective side from. You have all this. You have all. <laughs> you'll all have to study really hard next year. That exam that you take at the end of high school is so important in with in determining which university you get into. Yeah, so I've heard. Sakurai mentioned it too. But you're a bright boy, and so I know you can do it. Of course, with me raising you, you could gar hardly go wrong, could you? We share a chuckle. Mom has always been really good at making me feel safe and secure. Uh, thanks, Mom. For everything. I don't know where I'd be without you. Nothing to thank me for. I'm your mother. It's my job. And of course, she'll always be there. For me. And well, for you guys. All of us have their own, have their own moms and all. And, of course, Mother's knows best. Seriously, having you around again has made such a difference. I just wish you could be mo around more often. Me too, Finn. Me too. I always felt guilty being so far away from home, especially when you were struggling to deal with Sayori. It's not your fault. Life wasn't exactly going to be easy after the divorce, was it? You're doing your best. <laughs> Isn't that exactly what I just said to you said to you just now? I see you and inherited my positivity. Sayori called me a mama's boy, funnily enough. Well, she isn't wrong now, is she? She ain't wrong, so... <laughs> I grin. Nope. Anyway, I was thinking we could go for a walk to town. There's a really nice cafe that one of my work friends recommended. It'll be good to get out of the house. The fresh air will do you good, too. Can we swing by that restaurant Monica recommended? I just want to see what it's like. You know, just in case I want to take Sayori there another day. Of course we can. White Day is only a month away, so who knows? Perhaps you'll spend the day there? White Day? Um, I never heard of that because, well, I, I ain't no American, I, I, I guess. I don't know, uh, feel free to educate me in the comments below what White Day is. I've forgotten about White Day. Or wait, is this a Japan thing considering that this takes place in Japan? Again, I don't know. I, I don't know what kinds of uh, days are out there because, well, we only get a few days here for where I live. So again, educate me in the comments down below. I'm sorry if I offended you guys. Uh, or something. I again. There, there's just some things I really do not know at all. You typically get, you typically get a lot of chocolate, so it's one of my favorite days. Ah, so you, there you were berating me for gorging on chocolate when it's you that I got my sweet tooth from. I hope you've been eating healthily while I've been away, young man. Eh, have you ever heard of that phrase? What you don't know won't hurt you. I'll take that as a no, then. Ignorance is bliss, Mom. You should consider yourself lucky that Sayori didn't, doesn't expect you to cook her food, Finn. Funny you mentioned that, actually. Natsuki is really into food, so if I dated her instead... Man, she'd grill me. Oh, no, don't and don't even try to roast me. But still... I found the perfect candidate for her anyway, so doesn't really matter. No pun intended. She laughed softly, shaking her head. <laughs> uh, it's always nice to spend time with mom. Or, well, mom's C in this matter. I like spending time with my mom, honestly.
<laughs> Good times. After waking up and completing my morning routine, I perch onto the couch, idly flicking through the programs on television. I think Sayori has a therapy session today, though I'm unsure of the time. Probably best to find out what's going on. Uh, hey Sayori, what's up? You've got a session with, with Dr. Satoshi today, right? Hey, yeah I do, it's in an hour. Ah, alright, want me to come with you? Actually, well, I was kinda thinking that I should probably try going to one by myself. Oh really? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty nervous. But when you came with me before, it gave me the confidence to try and tackle these sessions by myself. The antidepressants have it made it easier for me to think a bit clearer, clearer too. And I don't want to always rely on you when it comes to these sessions. So yeah, I'll see how this one goes. Ah, well, I'm glad you're feeling better, smiley face. Just let me know if you change your mind, okay? I'm not doing anything today, so it wouldn't be a problem if I had to come to the clinic. Thanks, Finn. I'll remember that. I'll let you know how it goes. See ya! Heart- Oh, she gave me a little heart emoji there! Or heart emote? I don't know, same thing, but- oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're boyfriend and girlfriend, so yay! <laughs> uh, Sayori, you cutie! Alrighty, heart emote again. Ah, of course. Mom's sitting nearby, typing away on her laptop. It's kind of weird. What is? Not spending the time, not spending the day with Sayori. This is the first weekend since we started dating that we haven't spent with each other. Hang on, why exactly aren't you guys spending today with each other? I thought you two would be glued together. Oh, she has a therapy session today. Remember I, how I told you yesterday that she was considering going to the sessions alone? She just texted me to tell me she's gonna do just that. Ah, huh, that's excellent news. It sounds like she's doing really well. Mm-hmm. And the fact she's going alone is good for your relationship too. It's healthy to do things away from your partner. Is it? Glob, that really shows how much I know. Yep. It's important to remember that even though you're together, you still have your own lives to live. I know it probably feels like you want to spend every moment with her, but it's good to have little breaks. Yeah, but... I'm bored. I don't know what to do. The choice of free time. <laughs> don't you have any homework to be getting on with? Nah, I didn't on Friday. Wait, you're you doing homework on a Friday evening? That does. That really doesn't sound like you at all. I remember how you always used to leave it for Sunday evening. Am I really talking to my son? And there I was thinking you'd commend me for doing it so early. What a cruel world that you live in. What about your video games? If I recall correctly, they're the reason why you leave your homework for the last minute. That's a good idea, actually. Problem is, I don't know what to play. Well. Because we could play a bit of a Genshin Impact and also been considering on playing GTA The Definitive Edition. No, don't play that game. That game is absolutely buggy and garbage. Mom rolls her eyes. Well, no offense really because it's really a buggy mess, but yeah, I guess I'll just play the original GTAs. Don't you have a whole library of games? Hmm, depends if you count DLC or... Or, or, DDLC Plus. <laughs> ah, just kidding, I already done that. DLC? Basically, it's short for downloadable content, which... Am I really going to try and explain the nuances of video gaming to my mom? Never mind, yeah, I'll go see what I can find. After spending a good 5 minutes trying to decide which game to play, I f eventually settled for Banjo-Kazooie. I've had a lot of fun just watching Sayori play it, so I figured it'd be a good choice. Well, I guess I don't mind busting out the uh, the Nintendo 64, so that's aight. 
Man, Sayori got pretty far. I forgot how much she enjoys the game. Maybe I could lend it to her, given I don't really play it by myself? I've got plenty of other tiles on my computer to choose from, so it's not like I'd be strapped for choice. Might be worth bringing it up, bringing it up the next time I see her. Eh, not bad. I, I guess I could gift her the game, I suppose. After some time, Mom comes downstairs, calling my name. You've got a text, Finn. From Sayori? No, he, from Yuri. You left your phone in the bathroom. Oh, so that's where it was. Whoops. I take the phone. Hello, Finn. Are you up too much today? Nah, not really. Just having a chill day, to be honest. I imagine that must be quite relaxing. I was curious. There's a pause. I can tell that she's working up the courage to ask me to do something with her. Uh... Well, I found another good book that you think you might enjoy. And I was wondering if you'd like to read it with me. I have a spare copy. I really don't know how to reply. I just told her that I was free, so I can't fall back on a classic homework excuse. Uh, I can't. Sorry. Uh... Why? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Mom came home on Friday and she wants to spend time with me. I feel absolutely awful as I type that out. Yuri must suspect that something's amiss. I went from encouraging her to open up to me and spend time with me to suddenly rejecting her advances. My only hope is that she doesn't think it's because I don't like her or anything like that. Of course I don't. Oh, again, uh, she's a friend. Uh, okay. Well, I'm sorry to bother you then. Hope you have a nice catch-up. Thanks, Yuri. Really sorry again. You just seem to catch me at the bad time. <laughs> she doesn't reply. I slide my phone back into my pocket and run my face through my hands. Everything okay? Well, that's a good question. I stand up, pulling on my coat. I'm gonna go for a walk. Need to clear my head. Mom looks surprised, but doesn't press it. Wrap up warm. Oh, oh. Well, we're back in the uh, in this area of the park where me and Yuri had that one talk about uh, Sayori and me having a fight and all. Well, it's always good because, of course, uh, staring deep into the uh, into the, into the uh, the river or the pond here really helps clear your mind off. After settling down on a bench, I cast my eyes to the pond. The gentle cyan hue the pond possesses is pleasant to look at, but although it's soothing for the eyes, it does little for my racing mind. Maybe it's worth talking to Sayori about how to deal with Yuri? Causing tension with Sayori is the last thing I want though, especially as it looks like she's making progress with therapy. Then again, I don't exactly want to lose Yuri as a friend, do I? Of course I don't. I would be really awkward and unfortunate if any resentment is bred between the two girls. Hmm. As my musings carry on, I hear a voice call my name. Finn? My head jerks up. I immediately recognize the owner of that voice. If this is who I hope it isn't, the following conversation is going to be very awkward. My fears are confirmed as a familiar set of flowing purple locks make their way into my view. Oh! Hello again, Yuri! Okay, um... The, the fight between me and Sayori and now here. Okay, well, it's good to see you, my friend. Ah, uh... Hey, Yuri. She looks around. Are you by yourself? Yeah, why? As soon as I speak, I realize the error that I just made. A hint of sadness and doubt flashes on Yuri's face. I... I thought that you were with your mother. Well, I'm screwed. Oh, oh you done goofed. Kind of. Uh... Finn, why are you avoiding me? If you don't want to spend time with me, that's all you had to say. It wouldn't surprise me at all. No, Yuri, please, it's not like that. I do like you and I and do enjoy your time together. It's just... I run an aggravated, aggravated hand through my hair, 
it's so frustrating not being able to tell her the truth, especially when she sees this so differently. Just what, Finn? He can tell me if you'd rather... He can tell me if you'd rather I left you alone. While I'm trying to figure out what to say, Yuri presses forward. Is it me? No, it's... She told me that I could come to you if I were feeling lonely. Were you just saying what I wanted to hear? No, I meant that. I still do. It's just... It's complicated. Yuri, and... I can't really tell you. That sounded absolutely pathetic. Yuri doesn't look impressed nor convinced. I'm sorry for bothering you, Finn. I really, I truly am. It's probably for the best that I leave you to it then. As frustration flows through my body, she turns around to leave. Just what the heck am I even to do anymore? Hey Finn, can we talk? Oh, Sayori, um, I assume your therapy session is done, I think? Don't worry, you haven't done anything wrong. Oh, are you sure about that, Sayori? Just finished the therapy session and needed some time to think about it. Wanted to get your thoughts as well, if that's okay. Sure thing. Can we meet at yours? Sounds good. Just give me 15 minutes to get home. Okay, see you then. I'm praying that she has some positive news. I'm not sure I could stand any more strife today. Also, excuse me for that sneeze. Man, that was terrible. Um, <laughs> couldn't cover it up, so I guess I'll just leave it in there. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry about that one, fellow knights. There's a note on the table from mom. She's gone out and to set some groceries. Well, at least this affords Sayori and I some privacy. I hear a knock on the door. I let Sayori in and we both take a, take a seat. Hey Sayori, uh, how'd your session go today? It was pretty helpful. Wait, we were with Yuri just a few seconds ago, right? Why did we say bye, gotta go home, Sayori's coming, and uh, sorry, uh, hope things don't ever happen again. Maybe, maybe it was off screen, who knows, but... Uh, well, I just really hope that uh, things between me and her are alright as friends because of Sayori's jealousy. So, I don't blame Sayori for that, honestly. The sessions on the whole have been much more helpful than they thought they could be. Oh? Yeah, recently, Dr. Satoshi has been helping me put things into perspective. I'm starting to realize that, well, maybe things aren't as bad as they seem. They help, he helped me see the progress I've made so far. Like coming to therapy? That's part of it. Coming to the sessions in the first place was a really big step. Something I wouldn't have been able to do last year. For the past sessions, he's been challenging the depressive thinking that I had. And helping me to see the reality of things. That it's okay to ask for help. And thanks to the antidepressants, I'm able to see things a little more clearly. It's not exactly easy, and sometimes I get frustrated at how slow the progress is. But he reminded me that we are making progress, slow but steady, he said. And he praised me for having the courage to come to the sessions alone. Yeah, I'm really proud of you for that. You're doing really well. She smiles tentatively. And it's something I'm slowly coming to terms with. Obviously, we're not rainbows and butterflies just yet, but I'm not having nightmares as often. And my general mood these days is much better from it was much better than it was before we started hanging out, hanging about again. The powerful feeling of relief coursing through my body feels rewarding beyond belief. Just when I was thinking everything was so bleak and we weren't getting anywhere. Anyway, so he suggested that I tell the others about my depression. Oh, so that's the thing you wanted my input on? Yeah, but I don't know if I should tell them. Oh. Tell them? Like... Okay, I think I know where this is going. 
Why not? Well, I'm kind of worried that it might change how the club feels. I don't want any special treatment or anything. And there's no telling how they might react. Well, I'm, I'm sure they'll be very concerned and very empathetic with you, Sayori. I, I really do. On the other hand, having to act cheery all the time around them is so exhausting. And if you tell them, you don't, you won't have to hide anything anymore. And that would make life a lot easier, being able to come to school and not worry about accidentally letting the mask slip. Hmm, yeah, I can see that there's a lot to think about and consider. For what it's worth though, I don't think it'll change the atmosphere of the club, to be honest. They're our friends, Sayori. And yeah, they might be a bit unsure on of how to react, but I didn't know how to react when you told me, but we're still best friends, right? Yeah, that's true. I didn't think of that. Mm. I think it'll be a good idea too, but I'm not going to talk you into anything. It's entirely your decision to make and I'll respect whatever you pick. Okay, thanks Finn. I'll think about it tonight and see how I feel tomorrow. Sounds good. She notices the con the game's console lying on the floor and the controller by the sofa. Hey, hang on. Were you playing without me? Guilty as charged. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was bored. She heads towards the television and powers up the console. I hope you haven't got that far. That was my save file, meanie. Oh, what? Oh no, I really hope I didn't tamper with her save file. Play it and find out. The door opens and mom trails in, carrying a bunch of bags. My goodness, Sayori. It's been so long. I know we spoke on the phone, but actually seeing you person is a whole other story. Oh, ho, ho. Well... Childhood friend and my mom. What a reunion, huh? But uh, speaking of reunions, I'm sorry, fellow knights. I'm going to end this episode right here, but don't you guys worry. There will always be the next episode. So, well then, um, I nearly thought I was getting ready for Valentine's, but turns out I wasn't. So, I got plenty of time to prepare. So, uh, be ready for that, fellow knights. <laughs> oh man, cannot wait to see how that goes. And also... It's good to see the um, the three together, MC or me, Sayori and Mom C. Oh man, well, childhood I suppose. But uh, there you have it. And uh, <laughs> so, anywho, if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. It'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this and click on the bell notification to be notified and if you want to play this mod for yourself as always link in the description below and with that being said thank you guys all so much for watching Finn the Diamond Knight signing off and I'll see you guys next time and as always stay awesome and have fun fellow knights and adventurers